Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at how you can add an opportunity in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Once you've converted a lead to a contact and account, or simply added a contact or account, you can now start adding sales opportunities against them. There are a number of ways to do this, but one of the most straightforward ways is to navigate to the contact or account record with which you want to associate the opportunity, and then click on the Opportunities option in the Sales Related Navigation bar. This will list any existing opportunities you may have and also change the ribbon so you can add a new opportunity. Click Add a New Opportunity and notice that most of the functionality is greyed out on the New Opportunity screen. This will become active when you save the opportunity. Give the opportunity a topic and notice this opportunity is already linked with the account from which we started. Add a description if required. For the forecast information, you can let the system calculate the revenue which will happen as we add product line items, or you can click on User Provided and type in the forecast value. Insert the probability and the estimated close date. You may also want to change the rating of this opportunity if required. You can also state what currency this opportunity is in. Under line items, we can see we have to save the record to enable the functionality, so we will come back to that later. But as we scroll down, we'll also notice that it's true for notes and activities and quotes, so let's click Save. We can now go back and add some product line items. First up, you need to select the price list you want to use and then click in the box to activate the new ribbon above. You can now add opportunity products and you have the choice of choosing products that are already set up in the system or adding ad hoc or write-in products. We'll choose an existing product and we'll go for professional service days. And then when I select the unit, you'll notice that the system allows you to choose different units of measure, and I'll go for a 10-day package. Under pricing, I can select to use the default pricing as set up in the system, or I can override it. I'll go for default pricing and enter my quantity, in this case 2, meaning 20 days of professional services in total. I can also insert manual discounts and taxes, but when I save, the other prices will be calculated. If you want to add multiple products, you can choose Save and New, but I will just save and close. And I can now see my single product listed under line items. I can now add some overall deal discounts or costs and then click Recalculate Opportunity. Notice the totals are calculated and also my forecast value is inserted. I also can start working the opportunity with the additional functionality available to me in the ribbon and the navigation bar. Remember that I can easily add more product line items as well by clicking in the line items area and using the ribbon options, 
but don't forget to press recalculate opportunity and also save the opportunity if you make any changes. I will click save and close and now when I go back to my account view I can see the opportunity listed against it. I can edit it at any time and perform other actions such as close winning or close losing the opportunity. Closing down the opportunity and then the account windows I can navigate to and see the opportunity in my main opportunity list. So there we have it, how we add and work with opportunities in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Remember to check the help files for further information or if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic production. <laughs>